Hey everyone, I'm Sam from the Growth Guild at Aragon, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a DAO on Polygon using the Aragon app. So let's get started. You're going to start at app.aragon.org and just connect your wallet, the button here. I'm going to use MetaMask and my wallet is connected. Now click create a DAO. So you're going to see the steps that are going, you're going to do while you're creating a DAO and we're just gonna click the blue button to continue. In this part, you select your blockchain, and since we're building a Polygon DAO, we're going to keep it at Polygon. You can also choose test nets if you wanna test out your DAO first, uh, but I'm gonna do it on mainnet. And then in this section, you describe your DAO. So you add your DAO name, logo, description, links, uh, some links to website, Discord, lens handle, Twitter handle, things like that. So I'm going to, since this is a video about Polygon, call it that, and then just click next. Now you choose your membership. So you're either selecting token holders or multi-sig members. And if you choose token holders, that means that you're going to mint a token and distribute that token to wallets. But if you choose multi-sig members, you're going to be allow listing wallets. Uh, if you wanna remove wallets, you'll just revoke permission to that wallet later uh, in a proposal. So you can choose either option. We're gonna go with tokens and mint a token. So this is the Polygon video token. And we're gonna call, say the symbol, symbol is video. And then you get to add addresses. So I'm going to just distribute a couple tokens to my address, which I'm using to create the DAO, that it was automatically imported here. I'm going to give myself five tokens. And then to add more wallets, you just click this button and then you'll just add more. So this asks who is eligible to create proposals. You can gate who can create proposals. And this is the kind of a security step. If you want only token holders to be able to create proposals, you can choose that. And so that means that people who hold your DAO token, they can create proposals. But if people don't hold your DAO token, they're probably not that interested in your DAO and they can't create proposals. Uh, you can also choose that any wallet can create proposals, but uh, just know that there is a possible risk of proposal spam if you do this, because then it's just open to anyone on the internet. Um, so I'm going to go with just token holders and then the minimum number of tokens required to create the proposal. I'm going to say just one video token. Now you select your governance settings. The first one is the support threshold, which is a percentage of tokens that are required to vote yes for a proposal to be approved. So a simple majority is just 50%. I'm gonna keep it at 50, but I'll show you that if you wanted to increase it, you could see how far above you are that 50% threshold here to get a sense for maybe how difficult it will be to pass proposals if you set it at 61%, for example, where I have it now. You can also move the bar down to see below 50%, so that means that less than the majority of people uh, have to say yes for something to pass. Um, and then you'll see a warning symbol just to be aware that a mi minority could pass something if you set your threshold below that 50%. So I'll keep it at 50. And then we have minimum participation. So that is the percentage of the token supply that must vote on a proposal for it to be valid. So they can vote yes or no, they just have to vote. They just have to participate. If I, in my Polygon video DAO, set the minimum participation at 15%, then that means just one token is required to participate. If I move it up, you can see it'll jump up as soon as I hit that percentage. Um, so I'm gonna, I'll put it at two. You need 
two video tokens need to vote in order for a proposal to be valid. Then we have minimum duration. That's the shortest length of time a proposal can be open for voting. You can always set a longer duration in your proposals, but the minimum duration is kind of a security measure that you don't want people to be able to pass proposals that only last for a minute or two because then your DAO members won't be able to see them and won't be able to vote on them. So one day is a good minimum duration to start with. I'm gonna keep that there. Next you have early execution. Early execution is when a proposal meets the participation rate and the threshold and maybe there are two days left in voting, but if it's already met that participation rate and that threshold, then it just concludes and executes uh, the proposal itself. Um, so you can enable that, but if you have this enabled, that means you cannot allow vote change. Vote change is just allowing voters to change during the voting period. So if you turn off early execution, you can see that vote change then is enabled. I'm gonna keep early execution on though. Next, you just check over all the settings that you chose for your DAO and you'll be able to see which settings are changeable later with a vote and which ones are not changeable. For example, the blockchain that you choose to deploy on is not changeable. You cannot move your DAO to a different blockchain once you deploy it. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you wanted to edit it, you could just click this button and it'll take you back to that spot in the DAO creation flow. So that's correct. DAO details, logo, DAO name, summary, all of this changeable with a vote later on, so don't worry too much about that. Voters, again, changeable with a vote. Um, you can mint more tokens, you can distribute them to more wallets, uh, you can change settings like that. Um, that's correct. Voting parameters, also changeable with a vote. Um, you can change the support threshold, minimum participation, all of those things. Cool. So now we're going to deploy. And you can see it's only 17 cents. So you're just gonna have to sign a transaction and then wait for that confirmation. Great. Now launch your DAO dashboard. So now that your DAO is ready, you can open it. And then this is my DAO dashboard. This is where members will be able to see any proposals, will be able to initiate token transfers, so manage the DAO treasury, um, and you'll be able to see all of the members who are in the DAO. So in this case, it would be all of the token holders of the Polygon video token. And then you can, there's a lot more to explore up here, uh, including governance, which is where you'll create your proposals and you, you'll see all of them listed here. Finance, uh, that is everything in your DAO's treasury. You can see all the tokens and the latest transfers. Community is just members in your DAO. So in this case, it's token holders. If it was a wallet-based DAO, these would be wallet addresses. And then you can see settings. These are the DAO settings that I chose when I set them up, set, uh, when I set up the DAO. And then to edit settings, you can pass a proposal. And that is how you build a DAO on Polygon using the Aragon app.